So for today what we're looking to paint, we're just going to be doing the fascia, so this kind of front edge. On this one in particular, after a good wipe, that might be clean, it might just be the moss. I might wipe some paint off, so I just brought it up with me just in case. Uh, yeah, altogether this one's actually looking pretty good. Um, yeah, so a lot of these white blotches, those probably won't come off. So I can just give that a quick paint. Not too bad. Gross. So, you know, I'll go get the rag, we'll give it a quick wipe, and then we'll see what it looks like from there. Okay, so I did a little bit before, just rubbing it down with some, with a rag and water. And it's looking like day and night. So we'll keep doing this. Uh, once it dries, we can check again to see if it needs a coat of paint. Doing quite a good job. Super nasty rag after, but... Okay, we're gonna let that dry for a second. Um, kind of already looked like it didn't take off a lot of it, so I'm gonna just try painting it over. So we're gonna let it dry before I paint. Um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna take a rake, and there's a couple sites that needed a bit more, whether I missed them or more leaves fell. Either way. We're gonna rake them.
So it looks a different color now. We'll let it sit for a bit and we'll see if I got the right color match from the box. But it looks a bit better, it cleans it up, not that nasty kind of look. So, off to the woman's. Okay, that actually looks a lot better than I thought it would, which is nice. So it's good to know they clean up even over that moss and kind of that white uh, mushroom ring that was left behind. So that was two of them out of nine, ten. So off to the next. I have been driving on empty for about half the trip now. So who knows what this actually means. Am I empty on communication with friends because I'm all alone? Am I empty on paint? Because that's not true. Am I empty on fuel? I'm still moving. I don't know. I don't know. from the boss saying there's a trail near marble that a lot of trees fell down so he told me to bring my rake and see if I can clear up the trail little did I know this is the scariest trail I've ever been on like first of all why is the moss yellow and not green I don't know why are the trees over there so marled and nasty Even the bark on the trees looks evil. You know what I mean? What's in that cave? Why is that like that? Why is there grass growing? Oh, why? There's no birds. There's no birds. No chirping. There's nothing. Why is it so dead? Well, I walked over the haunted grass. I still feel fine. This is just gross. I don't like this. I don't like it. Oh my heavens. What is that? The, the portal to death? Oh, why is it so deep? Why is it still growing? What is this? Like, I'm not saying it's not anything, but why along this trail is there a giant hole? How can there be a dead tree in the middle of all of this other non-dead stuff? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it only gets thicker. Oh yeah. This is going to be the death of me. At least I've got my broom, rake, to defend me. Great. Let me just rake this up. Yeah, it looks clear. Why? Why is that tree so spiky? Oh, someone did cut some firewood. Well, that's nice. Oh, 
Okay, back on the boat. Um, park operator. You know what I do, kind of, so what do I do it with? Uh, <laughs> what tools do I use? Um, got just normal ones. I got a rake, um, two rakes, a really heavy song pret, and then more of a leaf pret. Gloves, just in case. I got rubber gloves for cleaning toilets, because they be nasty sometimes. Um, I've got a little kit. It's in a waterproof bag. It's got some extra granola bars, some water, a lighter, um, another knife, and then like a little blanket just in case. You know, sometimes, like I'm not anticipating getting stranded out here, but the whole thing costs about eight bucks from Dollarama, so why not bring it? Uh, I got a fishing net for collecting money. House butters sometimes don't want to get off their boat, so they just toss me a 20 in my fishing net and I bring it back. Whatever, gets it done. Uh, I've got a lot of maps, a lot of water, um, although I'm sitting for most of the day and then just walking up beaches, it's still good to drink water, just being out in the sun gets you super dehydrated, uh, and I feel it, sometimes I'll get headaches for like no reason, I'm like, well, I'll just go drink some water, it usually fixes it. <coughs> Coffee. <coughs> Coffee, shovel, um, sprays for bathrooms and stuff, um, and then I've got a whole lot of like clipboards and papers, uh, permits, tickets, um, warnings, evictions, everything has its own little binder. Uh, I don't know why, but it takes up a lot of space. So this entire little bucket up here, that's all, all papers I need to fill out. Uh, there's daily forms and such. Uh, I got another set of uniform in case these ones get gross, so if I fall into the water or something. Um, spare jerry can of gas, you never know. Tons of life jackets. Hundreds down there, just in case I have my own party. Psych, we'll never do that uh, against the uh, rules. Yeah. I have a knife on me at all times. Not to protect myself from bears, but because uh, people hang up garbage on strings. So I just cut the strings down. Uh, don't worry, I'm not a hero. If I see a bear, I will run. The other way with my back away from them keeping eye contact. Is that how you deal with a bear? <laughs>